It's a question that's been the center of debate at Tennessee's Capitol for months. Should a person who poses a potential threat to themselves or others be able to possess firearms? Thanks for joining us at 6, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Carrie Sharp. There is a newly filed bill that would do just that if the person was already facing a criminal charge. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how it works. I've always been a strong Second Amendment advocate. And House um, Majority Leader William Lambert says that's not changing. However, he has submitted a new bill that would restrict some people from possessing firearms. The ink's still not dry on my signature on this bill, but we've been working on this for months. If the bill passes, a person facing criminal charges deemed not competent to stand trial by a judge would be sent to a mental health facility, and the individual would not be able to possess or purchase weapons. They're not even competent to be able to talk to their lawyer about their offenses. That is not someone that should be able to have a firearm, period. How long someone stays in a facility or is restricted restricted from owning guns would be up to the judge. The court is monitoring that person almost for life. You may remember Lamberth drew a hard line against passing anything close to a red flag bill last year. He says this proposal is way different. This is totally different from any of the, the red flag bills or anything else we've seen in the past because this has lawyers involved for the defendant. This has doctors involved that have evaluated the defendant and given evidence in front of a judge in open court. I mean, this, is, this, is, this has all the due process associated with it. So the question becomes, in a legislature that values what the NRA and other gun lobbyists think, does this have a chance? There's a, a window there that we need to to close. We checked with both the medically homebound Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally and Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton, who both seem supportive. If you work those two together, if they're involuntary committed, then their their gun rights are taken away until a certain period of time until the, the judge can back. I think we're all OK with the involuntary commitment process. Only time will tell if the rest of the lawmakers agree. This is what we as conservatives have said for years we are looking for when dealing with these type of circumstances. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. And already the bill is getting some bipartisan support. Nashville District Attorney General Glenn Funk helped write the legislation and he tells News Channel 5 it has his full support.